In Microsoft Word, there are a number of ways that you can view your document. To see the views available, click the View tab on the ribbon. By default, you will probably work in Print Layout View. This shows the document as it will look when it prints. This is a What You See is What You Get or WYSIWYG view of your document. Within Print Layout View, you can hide the white space at the top of the page if desired. Hold your mouse pointer over the top of the page until the double-headed mouse pointer appears. Double-click to hide the white space and to gain more work area in your Word window. Double-click in the same position to reveal the white space again. You can make the document larger or smaller using the zoom indicator here in the bottom right of the screen. Click the plus indicator to increase the size of your document and the minus indicator to decrease the size of the document. You can read the percentage zoom level that you're looking at the document at from the indicator to the immediate left here. If you want to read a document rather than work on it, use Full Screen Reading View. Click this and the document will open at Full Screen View. This is not the same as Editing View, although it is possible to edit the document in this view. The idea of this view is to give you an easy way to read a document on the screen. The view options in the top right corner of the screen here offer you things like the ability to increase or decrease the text size. This is just for viewing purposes and it doesn't change the size of the font in your document. You can also choose to show one page or two pages at a time. You can select Allow Typing so you can edit the document as you read it. Show Printed Page shows the document as it will look if it's printed, so this is sort of like Print Layout View but with a larger screen. The options that are highlighted in this list are the ones that are selected at the moment. If you don't want to show the printed page, for example, click Show Printed Page when it's enabled to disable it. There are also options in the top left of the screen here for working with the document, such as saving it or printing it. There are tools for highlighting text and for adding comments. At the foot of each page you'll see navigation buttons. These take you forward and backwards through the document. When you've finished working in Reading View, click the Close button to return to the original document view. Web Layout View allows you to view the document as it would look if it were saved to the web and viewed in a web browser. You would use Web Layout View if you're creating an email message or a web page from a document. Outline View is a special view that shows you the document as an outline with outline tools in place. Outlining is a special view which is useful if you're using outline styles to number your document. Draft View is a very plain view of your document. It shows text but no other items such as headers or footers and you can see that our image has disappeared. The purpose of Draft View is to help you work on your text without having to worry about other objects on the page. The views that you're most likely to use the most often are Print Layout View, which is where most people spend their time editing a document, and Full Screen Reading View if you're reviewing someone else's work. The buttons up here on the View tab are duplicated down here. From left to right, these are Print Layout, Full Screen Reading, Web Layout, Outline View and Draft View. These work exactly the same way as the buttons on the View tab. The advantage of these ones, though, is that they're always visible, no matter what tab you have selected.